Colette Wickenham Film Studios, which is what TFS stands for, and I'm going to interview Colette. Let's go! for a production company called Blunt Pictures. Hi Colette. Hello, how are so, you? So, I'm good thanks, how are you? I'm very good, <laughs> very good. So, um, being a pro producer, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, that's a tricky question because it kind of changes throughout mm. the whole life of your film. Yeah. So you start at the beginning where you just have a script or an idea and then it's figuring out from there, you know, how might you put it together, how might you fund it, who do you want to have working with you. So it's really pulling together the whole project. And then as you go through the whole life, it goes from those planning stages of getting your yeah. budget and making sure you have everything in place to actually going into production, which yeah. you're very familiar with, where you're actually yeah. shooting and you're coordinating you know, a big team of people on a day-to-day -day basis. And now, at this stage, we're at a very different stage. We've just nearly finished post-production, so we have some sound to do and then we're done. And today is a really big day because one of the top uh, UK distributors are coming to watch it, to screen oh, it wow. yeah, in Leipzig. And really tomorrow, excited. yeah. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. I mean, we love it. Yeah, they don't like anything. No, we just hope they love it. Yeah. But everybody who's seen it has told us that it's great, and we think it's great. But you know, you never know. The yeah. distributor needs to think it's great. So today and tomorrow, we have the, if either of these two distributors take it on, then we've sold the project, and then we'll be out there, <laughs> out there with our project. Good. Have you always been a producer your whole life? I haven't. This is my very first project. Oh, wow. Yes. So how did you start off? Well, before, um, when I left university, I was in banking for most of my career, and then I ran an internet business. And then a friend just asked me one day, I think you should produce a, a film, come and meet my friend who's a writer-director. And I thought, why not? Mm -hmm. And really, although you do have to partner up with people who know the ins and outs of you know, how to make the film, a lot of it is just about business and determination and knowing how to get people to work for you and what makes sense. It's a lot of common sense, really. So, do you think it's really important to be at a school or do you think it really matters? Um, I think you need to have information, but you need to have certain character. And sometimes you don't need to study it at school. Like if you could, for instance, I've learned a lot from Zorana. I've, learned, I've had my ears and eyes open the whole time. So every time I meet somebody who's good, I listen, I ask questions. They kind of mentor you, yeah. you know? Um, and I think that that's more useful because then you get real life examples. Yeah. You see it actually happening. Because you can sit in a classroom and people can tell you about this stuff, but it's really, not really going in. no, you want to learn from somebody who has a passion, who's doing it. Um, and see them in action. Um, and sometimes it's just a light touch of that will inform you enough that you you know, you know enough to take from that. You don't need to know everything, yeah. but you'll know enough. 